Kalmon is taking over the Minecraft modding scene, and for good reason. This mod brings a full Pokemon experience into Minecraft. Catching, battling, trading, and more. But the thing that makes Kalmon truly unique is the community. Aside from the main mod, there are already hundreds of add-ons that expand the experience with new Pokemon, new mechanics, and even Mega Evolutions. And trust me, Kalmon is fun solo, but it's way more fun when you play it with friends. So in this video, I'll show you exactly how to install Kalmon on your server, and then how to add different types of add-ons to make your world truly unique. All the mods and add-ons I use in today's video will be linked in the description, so you can follow along step by step. How to install Kalmon Installing Kalmon on your server is actually really simple, but I'll walk you through it carefully so nobody gets lost. The easiest way to install Kalmon is using the mods and plugins feature on the Dathos website. You can find it on the left side of your server panel. In this little text box, you'll be able to copy links to any mod on CurseForge, in my case Kalmon, and it will automatically install the mod on your server. Believe me when I say that it doesn't get any easier than this. If you want to install Kalmon manually, we need to start by downloading the mod itself. Head over to the Kalmon website and grab the version you want to use. For this tutorial, I'll be downloading Kalmon 1.6.1 for Fabric, but if you're planning to use a Neoforge server, you'll also need to download the Kotlin library. Don't worry, I'll have both links in the description. Once you've got the files, head over to dathost.net and click the edit button on your server. Now listen carefully because this is where the most important step happens, choosing the right server type. When you're setting up a new server or editing an existing one, you'll see the server type panel on the left. Here you need to pick the mod loader and version that matches your Kalmon download. Since I grabbed Kalmon 1.6.1, I'll need either Fabric 1.21.1 or Neoforge 1.21.1. I'm going with Fabric because that's what I usually use. Alright, now that we've got the right server type, let's actually install Kalmon. Head back to your server page and open the mods and plugins panel. If you scroll down here, you'll see a custom upload option. Now drag and drop the Kalmon jar file into the field right here. If you're using Neoforge, don't forget to drop in the Kotlin jar too. And once everything's uploaded, restart your server and just like that, Kalmon is installed. And for all the pros watching this video, FTP is also an option and can be found at the bottom of the file manager panel. How to install Kalmon add-ons. For today's example, I'll be installing Mega Showdown, which adds Megas, Dynamaxes, Terrastalization and even Z moves. When you download this add-on, you'll notice it has a jar extension. That means it's a mod. And lucky you, because installing mods is super easy. Just drag and drop them into the same folder where you put Kalmon, then restart your server and that's it. Next up, we've got data packs. For this example, I'll be using all the mods, which adds a ton of extra Pokemon. To install a data pack, go back into the file manager and open your world folder. Inside, you'll see a folder called data packs. Just drag and drop your data pack.zip file in there. Restart your server and boom, the data pack is active. And finally, we've got resource packs. These are usually installed on the client side, but if you want to make sure all your players use the same one, you can set it up server side. Go to your server settings tab and scroll down to the resource pack section. You'll see a box where you can paste a URL. Now, a normal Modvinth or CurseForge link won't work here, so we'll use a tool called MC Packs. Just upload your resource pack there and it'll give you a direct download link. Copy that link and paste it into the resource pack URL box on that host. The way you've just installed it makes the pack optional. Players will get a prompt when they join a server asking if they want to use your resource pack. But if you want to force everyone to use it, just toggle on the require resource packs option. That way players will have to download it before they can join. And there you have it. A full guide on how you can start your very own Kalmon server with add-ons. We at that host hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did, then don't forget to like and subscribe for more content. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video.